So in my training as a child, a lot of our training was about focus, maintaining focus, keeping focus. And I was taught that in reaching an objective, you always had to, it was easiest to focus on one. You could get the rest of the group, but you one at a time, focus at one at a time. When I was told shamanically that I was supposed to start talking about Isaac Cappy about six months ago and open up comments on my YouTube videos because I had had comments closed for years. I just didn't want to deal with them. Um, I didn't want to do it, but I did it because I'm obedient because I believe that heaven, all of heaven is here right now. And so I did what I was told. Um, again, didn't want to do it. Didn't understand why. Now, I know that things are falling into place. Things are falling into place. That's how I know that what's happening with this eclipse and them turning on CERN and NASA sending off those rockets at the eclipse and all of these red heifers being sent to Jerusalem and the temple now ready and all of the focus on Gaza what I realize is is that in the end things are falling into place and the reason why I was supposed to speak about Isaac was because I was supposed to draw this dude Thomas to me Thomas is an interesting character last November and I've shown this video, he did a video where he was all, I'm just a musician. <laughs> and I have enemies. And they're, cra they're crazy. <laughs> but I'm just a musician. <laughs> and he released this. Obviously, the dude has an ego. It occurred to me that it was last November he released this video. He was more than aware of me. So now I'm wondering, was he talking about me? But the reason why I say that this is all being brought to a close and things are falling into place is because Thomas is actually an answered prayer. Because Aquino was the one who trained me, I have a feeling that when I showed it up at his doorstep above Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco with Doug Millar and my friend Spence, um, and he wouldn't answer the door, but he was there because the window was open right above the front door, and I could hear him and Lilith frantically talking. And that was when I realized that I wasn't crazy because that dude used my name repeatedly. And uh, it wasn't Doug Millar he was afraid of. It was me. And yet he spent his entire life telling people he didn't have a clue who I was. That's all beside the point. But I think Aquino knew that I was trying to get to him. I needed him, what I say is I needed him to play with me. Which means I wanted him to exchange energies with me so I could draw the people that were around him to me. But he wouldn't play. But then Lucian Greaves, Doug Buzzler, founder of the Satanic Temple, he was more than willing to play. But the dude's an idiot. The, the dude's in the shit that he has done. He's just an idiot. And not even comparable to Aquino. But Thomas, Thomas is exactly what I needed to focus in on all of them because the one thing Thomas believes in is his superiority and his authority and I've been able to focus on that the darkness they're about ready to bring in the darkness in with their their this ritual that they're getting ready to do in Jerusalem with the red heifers and them turning on CERN during the eclipse, and NASA sending three 
rockets or bombs or whatever the fuck they're sending to the moon or to the sun at the eclipse. And the fact that all of the magnetic shit is fucked up. The sun is having problems with its magnetism. The earth is having problems with its magnetism. And now CERN is like this big magnet effector. And uh, there's a coronal thing that's 60 Earths big on the sun. What could possibly go wrong with all of this? They're going to bring in the darkness. And I know that Thomas has been a really saving grace because my focus in all of this has always been on this whole group that did whatever the fuck they wanted and never paid a day's price. And not a one of them has paid a goddamn day's price. And that's all getting ready to end. Thomas was the finishing touches for me, for heaven. Seven years ago, right before this solar eclipse that happened seven years ago, um, I ended up, the, there's a personal story to me for that. Because at that time, what they were hitting me with, with their directed energy weapons that aren't from fucking Russia. You know, if you look at the patents that are connected to these weapons, the United States owns every fucking one of them. You know? But the shit that they were aiming with their little microwave toys were making me lose. I lost 100 pounds in two months. Have done videos about it. Dealt with it on my blog. Use my little search bar if you want to look into stuff. You know, type in stuff in the search bar. The stuff that I talk about, type it into the search bar. I'm sh I assure you, shit will pull up. Anyway, as a kid, with them training me to be the vessel for the Antichrist, which I fucking talk about in Confessions of an Antichrist, again, go read my book. Um, they had pledged, they had bound their souls to me, and I didn't want their souls. And so I went into the dark and gave the dark what they gave me as a child. And right at that time, the darkness was always a place where I cast my anger and my rage. It was a gift given to me a long time ago. Again, I write about it in Confessions. So, but it went from being a place to a thing. It was quite intense. The very next day, I watched this Dutch Sense dude on YouTube. I call him the Earthquake Guy. He does this video showing that there's an energy that came out of nowhere. And it was so big that it encircled the globe and it was in an S shape. And I knew that was the dark. And that was right before the solar eclipse, the last one, seven years ago. That's the reason why I know that we've been in judgment. Now they're going to bring it up. And the funny thing about CERN at that time, seven years ago, is that they released a paper saying there was no life after death because they've been, they've looked into the darkness and there's nothing there. Not yet. All this group of people have been in control and they're going to follow through with their plans even though they don't have the help from the fallen, which I write about in Confessions of an Antichrist. They don't have the help from the fallen. And they are deluded. But they're getting ready to proclaim themselves above heaven. And heaven is about ready to respond. And the fact that these idiots thought they could even begin to win what they think they have in their head. They're going to win. They call me delusional. You can't beat heaven. <laughs> the, if the angels couldn't beat heaven... Their group sure as fuck can't. Fill your hearts with love, or you're going to get claimed by the dark. No joke.